Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanBlade.com and in this video we are going to do a detailed benchmarking test of HTC Desire 10 Pro smartphone. We will be doing few tests right here in front of you and we will see that how much score this HTC Desire 10 Pro is going to achieve and we will compare the result with rest of the smartphones available in the market as well. So HTC Desire 10 Pro comes with Helio P10 processor, 4 GB of RAM, Android 6 Marshmallow OS and the GPU used is Mali T860. So let's start our benchmarking test and let's see that how much all these hardware specs are going to contribute in this. So here we go. So the benchmarking applications that we got today are and to the benchmarking Basemark OS 2, Basemark X, Geekbench 3 and Quadrant Standard. Out of these five we have already performed few of the tests to save your time because all of them are pretty time consuming. So just to save your time we have already performed few of them and few we will do right here in front of you. So let's just start with Android benchmarking. This test is already finished. We can have a look on the scores directly. So here is the score of entry benchmarking that's 77,138 and you can have a look on the individual scores that for 3D it's 7,288 for UX 48,055 and CPU 17,000 RAM 4,500 so you can see that the biggest contributor in these scores is the UX that's uh, because of the HTC Sense UI and uh, the performance considering the Helio P10 is quite nice because we have seen uh, the same processor Helio P10 with 4 GB of RAM and the same GPU uh, achieving as low as 55,000 and maximum it goes to 80,000 so considering this fact HTC Desire 10 Pro is achieving a very nice score in entry benchmarking and if you go to the ranking tab here you can have a look on the scores achieved by rest of the smartphones so right above the desire 10 pro there is HTC one m9 that is the flagship smartphone of HTC uh, in 2015 and the score is pretty much same the difference is of 3000 only and then you can have a look on the the rest of the phones like OnePlus 2, ZT A2000 and Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and right below the Desire 10 is Nubia Z9 Max so if you have used any of these smartphones especially the Galaxy S7 Edge or OnePlus 2 or HTC One M9 these are the popular flagship devices so you should be getting the idea that HTC Desire 10 Pro will perform pretty good and as good as with those devices so this is all about the entry benchmarking now let's go back and let's have a look on basemark os2 so here is the score of basemark os2 overall it's 931 for system it's 2300 memories nearly 800 graphics 667 and web browsing 610 so you can see that that the cpu helio p10 is performing pretty good here and it's achieving the highest score in the test but when it comes to graphics and the memory the performance is not so great uh, especially because of the mali t860 that gpu is not so good and uh, this is what affecting the score of basemark OS2 here it's negatively affecting actually but uh, 931 is we can say it's not so great uh, because we have seen better performance from the similar kind of hardware so you can just watch our previous videos where we have compare so you can just watch our previous videos of uh, uh, another flagship devices where we have performed this test and you can compare the result of Desire 10 Pro with those devices to get the better idea about the performance of 
HTC Desire 10 Pro but as we can see clearly here that the graphics quality the GPU used is not so great and that's why the score is affected negatively and if you go to the base mark X this is basically a gaming benchmarking test and if you have a look on these scores here it's 14,371 so once again you can see that the GPU performance is not good because this particular test is all about gaming and the graphics quality 3D graphics rendering so here uh, once again the score achieved is pretty low it's just 14,371 for example if you uh, compare the result of this test with HTC Bolt that's having Adreno 430 GPU uh, that device scored in our test around 39,000 so you can see that it's more than twice of HTC Desire 10 Pro and even though it is having 4 GB of RAM and uh, Helio P10 processor that's uh, not a flagship processor but still it's a good one the overall score is not good and the credit goes to GPU uh, for this uh, low score so this is all about all this test and now let's do these two tests here right in front of you so let's just start with the Geekbench 3 And once the test is finished, we will have a look on the score achieved by Desire 10 Pro and we will compare the result with the rest of the devices, smartphones as well. So the test is finished and here we are having the score. For single core it's 720 and for multi core it's 3015 and if you go to these individual tabs you can compare the result of Desire 10 Pro with some other smartphones like Galaxy S5 uh, scored 938, Amazon Kindle Fire scored 900 and Galaxy Note 10.1 tablet having Exynos octa -core processor achieved 900 as well so you can see that our device is scoring just 720 in single core testing and it is lower than Galaxy S5 here but if we go to the multi-core here you can see that HTC Desire 10 Pro is achieving better than Galaxy S5 so for the single core the score is low but for the multi-core the performance of Desire 10 Pro is better than Galaxy S5, Amazon Kindle Fire, uh, LG Nexus 5, Galaxy S4 obviously and uh, the list goes down so the performance of Desire 10 Pro is uh, kind of mixed as we can say that in entry benchmarking the score was really very nice for Basemark OS 2 uh, it was not so good because of the GPU performance once again for Basemark X gaming benchmarking test the performance was not good here in single core it is achieving lower than S5 but in multi core it is achieving better than S5 so we can see that this is uh, mixed performance from Desire 10 Pro and uh, let's do the last test that's quadrant standard right here in front of you so here we go and as you can see this is also a detailed benchmarking test like 2D graphics 3D graphics and it checks the performance of RAM memory and all these things So the test is finished and the score is 22,365 and uh, there are not latest smartphones but few old ones like HTC One X, uh, Motorola, Atrix 4G and uh, Optimus 2X and all. So but if you have used any of these smartphones you can just compare the result to uh, get an idea like HTC One X is having 5000 less than 5000 actually and uh, 
Xat N Pro is having 22,000 score achieved in this test. So you can get the idea about the performance of Xat N Pro and you can watch our previous videos of few other smartphones and you can compare the result of those smartphones with this Xat N Pro and then you will get the idea that what will be the performance of Xat N Pro and you can also watch our detailed gaming review where we played few of the most high-end games to check the real-life performance of HTC Xat N Pro smartphone so thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and hands-on reviews like this. Have a nice day.